The other two that have just like gone along with it, like we're probably going to be kicked off in next week anyway. I'm Jake Ellis from season two of The Bachelor and seasons one and three of Bachelor in Paradise. If anything, this experience has not taught me that I'm still in love and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to go fight for, fight for what I love and who I'm in love with. Today, I'm recapping the biggest moments from episodes four and five of The Bachelor's 2023 with Yahoo Lifestyle. Having out there felt, yeah, really normal. Um, and I drove past my daughter's school. Oh, yeah. you have a daughter? I have a daughter. Yeah, how old is she? Sun. Wow, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. She is a mum and she has, you know, two beautiful uh, kids. Oh gosh, my, my my deal breaker was that. Like I wasn't really looking, nothing wrong with it, but not just, I wasn't, my vision of my partner wasn't to partner up with a mum. Yeah, well, yeah. His, re <laughs> his reaction is like, <laughs> it's not the best. Like I could just see that was very uh, put on. Yeah, but I'd probably be the same. Like I, I think that's a pretty big thing, like to announce, obviously not expecting. You know, in, in Bachelor World, that would have been like day three or day four in filming or, you know, very early on. So, you know, for us, obviously it's super late, but I think that would have been brought up pretty early probably. As being a mum, I think it's a, like, obviously it's a great thing, but um, obviously not for him at the time, so. Jasmine, will you accept this rose? I think that throughout the time I mentioned here, I have been very true to myself and I've been very so I like Jasmine, upfront though. and I've stood my ground and as much as I think you're a beautiful person, I don't think I can accept the rose from you. Wow. Jasmine. <gasps> Thomas picking up the slack. Jasmine, will you accept this rose? Absolutely. Yeah, wow, rose ceremony, shoot down. Look, I've re I've refused rose before, so I know how that feels. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gutting. Like that would be, that's like, that's big drama, especially for The Bachelor. Like Jed would be feeling pretty upset. Yeah, I always, I thought that from what I was watching at the start, like obviously there's all the, all, you know, there's so many girls and the guys are bringing them in, but it's not like they're locked in from day one to that Bachelor, isn't that? That's the whole point of it. So I'm surprised that this hasn't happened already or that it's only happening just now. Like think of Bachelor in Paradise, like everyone swaps every day, which is it's probably not a good thing, but that did happen. The rose ceremony, there was some tension at the mansion. And things escalated. I love when Osha and comes ultimately, on. Osha and does it it. He's the best. Is that Marjorie. <laughs> Bunch of fake isn't there, that's what I say. <laughs> Tash Candice. It's all fake. Fake, 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 fake. And CJ. They've hopefully got what they've come for. All chose to leave the mansion. No way. In protest, yes. Tash. Tash campus, yes. Wow. The other two that have just like gone along with it, like we're probably going to be kicked off in next week anyway. Like they haven't, like I don't even know who they were. I have, and I've been watching the episode. I think I saw them for two seconds, which sounds mean, but like, obviously if, you know, Tash has just run, you know, rallied up two people that were probably going to be leaving soon anyway, and then said, come on, let's go. Let's make a scene. Um, but like, yeah, wow. This, this Tash chick blows me away. She's like the Kim Kardashian of the bachelor, like the bachelor. I feel like that's what she thinks she is at the moment. Really doing it for drama. Like, you know, obviously there's word that Tash comes back, which I think is, it was all part of the plan of how the show was going to pan out. Like the producers have a whole, they have a whole story in their head when they put this together. And like, I love the producers. They're all, they're all legends and they're good at what they do. So I feel like this was sort of some sort of a plan, but like for the other two walking out, like it was that, there was that episode or it was next episode that were either getting, <laughs> They were walking or they were getting walked. Mine was obviously a bit different than that walk out. Like I wasn't walking out calling everyone fake bitches and putting my sunnies on and being demanded to be driven somewhere. No, so yeah, it was a bit different. Like obviously it was the last season of Paradise that I was on. When I went back that last time, it just sort of reminded me of the relationship I did have with my ex, which was obviously Megan because we met on that season one. We were filming in Fiji, so it's a different thing than than just driving down the road on the Gold Coast. You know, obviously it's a big, it's a big ordeal. And 
you know, you don't really want to leave Fiji ever. But yeah, as I started feeling, obviously, you know, I, I brought that to, you know, I've got a producer that sort of looks after certain people, you know, obviously for everyone that's there. Um, and yeah, just told them how I was feeling and, and what I wanted to do. And, you know, obviously they double check that that's what you want to do. Do you really want to do this? And then they sort of obviously try to help you figure out the best way of doing so. Um, I think for me, it was a lot different because I was walking out for a chance at a relationship, whereas these girls were just walking out, you know, for the, for an MTV moment or, you know, to just cause either as much sort of airtime as possible or as much of a scene as possible. So I feel like the producer has been like, yes, like be loud, go nuts, tell everyone is like, you know, all that kind of stuff. Whereas for me, it was more so like, all right, how can we make you look like, you know, you're really walking out for love and blah, blah, blah. So I think it's a bit different.